And this is the Stellar model, which is one of the larger homes in this site. It's a three car garage, four bedroom, three bathroom, uh, about 25 to 2,600 square feet. These sit on the Echelon lots, which are 66 feet wide. Um, and again, if you look at the width of the house, because it's a three car garage, so this point here to this point is usually about 50 feet. And I'll tell you why that's important when we get in. We're just gonna make this fast because we've got a traffic amount of people behind us. Alrighty, so again, 10 foot ceilings, already grand. As soon as you walk in, place is just absolutely amazing. You got a, a den off to the front. This could be an office den or you wanna create a little dining room, you can. It's got enough space for it. Um, let's go right through the walking into the, uh, the kitchen and the, the living area and then we're gonna shoot through the bedrooms. But it's it's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, and you can you can already sense the grandi grandiose of the property just based on the ceiling height. Because I believe we're ten feet to this point, and we got the tray ceiling, so another foot in there. So so it's eleven foot ceilings in this uh, room. Uh, love these roll away doors again. The corner, so that that corner rolls in to that section. These ones roll into here, so you can have this whole um, ninety degree open area into the pool and uh, screen lanai. Or mind you, the cage rather, because Lanai has been removed. Um, yeah, let's go keep it going. So, built ins. This is going to be an amazing pantry here off the side of the, the fridge. We can go back into the front of the house to kind of show you the. This is going to be a secondary bedroom, secondary primary, um, or second primary rather, because obviously it has its own. It's own bathroom and you see here it's got the curb indentation step down if you get into the primary suite it's actually leveled with the floor it's the first time i've actually seen that in florida yeah really really nice we'll shoot down here this is just your hvac area uh, amazing area here. This is your laundry room. So you got a little uh, mud room here, if you want to call it that, a little drop off. And you got your nice laundry room with a sink, very important. Garage, entry, door. Uh, three car garage. That's actually a good idea. They actually built a step on to build a hot water tank just in case there was water. It's not going to get affected, which is nice. This is your third bathroom. This this feeds the main floor and this bedroom right here. So this is smaller of the three bedrooms, but still a generous size, no doubt. Um, these are a good idea. So they don't have any doors. Like, they're like almost like pocket doors. They're not intrusive to the space of the room, especially it's not the, the largest room. Again, look at this area, wild. Primary bedroom is ginormous, naturally. I mean, look at the size of this headboard. It's huge. Um, yeah, this is your ensuite. These are cool. Got like little transom windows in here. And again, like I was saying, this is level with the floor, so it's not that two to three inch curb. Uh, that's a good idea. Water closet off to the side. And this is just a, a closet, just for, for shoes, it looks like. Or probably towels, rather, so linen closet double sink. This is impressive. It's a huge walk-in closet. And I'm going to show you why the width of this building is very important. Because when you're putting a pool in, the regulations don't allow you to go past the width of the house with the cage. Because we've got a half acre lot and we're not allowed to go any further than the width of the house. So it's important that we bought an echelon series two like this. So it's uh, 50 feet wide from, let's say concrete block, the end of the, the house is called the concrete block um, until this point here. So that's gonna be about 50 feet, which what that does, it gives you a, a much uh, larger area to put a pool, can establish uh, like a longer pool. The spa is not intrusive, it's off to its side. Um, yeah, this is a cool pool too. Put a sun shelf, a bubbler. Usually this is gonna light up at night. 
uh, spillover, champagne spillovers. Um, that's a hot tub. But I mean, ultimately right now, it's not used as a hot tub. They have the water flowing over. That's why they call it the champagne edge. Um, one more thing here. See this little ledge in there? This is put in there uh, for safety reasons. And, and I kind of like it too because it's also an area you can kind of sit. I don't really swim in a pool. I like to hang out. Um, but it is for safety reasons. The regulations to install a pool here in, in the state of Florida is to have another area of, of egress. So that's that. Pools here, they're not going to be um, more, more than five and a half to six feet in depth. Um, obviously, the water table is very high here in Florida. So some areas you get lucky if it's on a hill with seven, eight feet. But usually in these communities, they're all like five feet, which is cool. They're like um, good areas just to kind of hang out with. We'll get you in the next one.